Six Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the U.S. and according to the 2023 Census Bureau, the 12th fastest growing city and we can really tell by all the action happening around town. Absolutely. I'm in the West Valley. I see so many construction vehicles moving up and down, but if you are driving down the I-10 near downtown Phoenix, you know you've seen it as well. It's also causing major headache though for drivers, so it's not all good here. Let's get to 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham who's hearing from leaders who say even though traffic might be backed up in some spots, it's still a good thing, Jade. Yeah, they say this is a great thing. Of course, you know, with all this growth that we are seeing all across the valley, it means a lot of construction. And we all have seen it, especially in downtown Phoenix. We've seen the orange cones. We have seen the lane restrictions and the detours. And I wanted to know why, like, what is going on? What are these projects? And why does it feel like they are taking forever to accomplish? Because it just seems like they're never ending. So I actually spoke with the city of Phoenix's uh, community and economic development director. She tells me that that there are multiple projects going on in downtown Phoenix. The biggest is actually the light rail expansion. It is extending into South Central. And actually, there's a metro center to the west of it that just opened. But construction on that is set to end at the end of summer. So almost done with that. But recently, Valley Metro and the city announcing that they are wanting community input on a plan to extend the light rail west from downtown to the Arizona State Capitol area, among other things. So more improvement projects with that. There's also improvements being made to roads, sidewalks, water and sewer lines, and other building improvements. Also, some of the 2,500 residential units that are currently under construction now in downtown Phoenix, they're forcing some streets to close. You know, these are very large projects. They need room for their equipment and to work, so they have to shut down lanes of traffic. Officials say, of course, on one hand, this is an absolute pain to deal with and patience is needed. But on the other hand, they tell me they don't want to see this construction end. Let's hope that we never see that end because that means that development in downtown Phoenix is slowed. And while we, we, we often will be walking someplace in downtown Phoenix, and I think it's funny to make the comment of who allowed this road to be closed and who, who let this development happen. And it makes the team laugh that, that we're, we're moving so forward, that we're becoming this, this urban city. Those are, those are real world problems that urban cities face. And until the last decade, downtown Phoenix had kind of been a suburban urban environment. And today it's, it's really turned into a true urban environment that people recognize. She also tells me that the growth is not done here in downtown Phoenix and that they still have a lot of land and density to build on and they have a ton of projects lined up for the future. So what does the future look like for downtown Phoenix? We take a look at that coming up in about an hour. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News, today in AZ.